am I alive is the question. Please tell me I'm on the air. Just gonna... It says I'm live? It says I'm live? Good. I don't need to, I don't need to hang on, I'm just gonna set up here. Okay, we are definitely on the air. Ah. So that feeling when you realize the last several streams your mic was muted. Oh boy, well, you know, that happens. Anyway, here we are. We're back. We're back. So what happened last time? Last time, we began a game of Mass Effect 2, and the Normandy was destroyed. And Shepard was killed, like straight up murdered in space, dead in space. And then a funny thing happened, Shepard woke up. Someone rebuilt her. Somehow she has a new face now. Um, I don't know what happened. The people who did this are very unclear about their motives. They just felt, they felt it was important somehow that she needed to be back. Apparently, the people who brought us back are Cerberus, who were kind of a, I don't want to say a foe, but definitely a, a low-key problem in Mass Effect 1. They showed up a couple times, we had to shoot at them, they had some alien connections. Now there's some sort of like humanity first organization, so we definitely don't trust them. But they did bring us back to life, which is nice. Uh, we met some new people, we met uh, Jake, Jacob, seems like a straight up uh, soldier guy. We met uh, Miranda, who was apparently the lead in the project to bring us back to life. We have kind of a... We don't have a great relationship with her right now. We met a man in a chair, voiced by Martin Sheen. Uh, he seems to be very well connected, very secretive, don't know what to make of him. And we met Tali. We, we were on a planet. We met Tali, so Tali's doing well. It's good to see her again. But then we got a big surprise. They made us a brand new Normandy. So today on Mass Effect 2, we are going to walk around and see our brand new Normandy ship, meet our new crew, meet our new staff. Um, a lot of people maybe came back. Some people didn't make it. Apparently Presley didn't make it. Sorry, Presley. And then we'll see what happens. So let's start our adventure. Galaxy map. No, we're not going to go any galaxy map like anymore right yet. Okay. Thank you, Yeoman. What's up, Yeoman? I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Hello. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Well, you're very nice. Glad Thank you, have you very on the much. Team, Ms. Chambers. Please call me Kelly. <laughs> sure. No. Sure. Okay, Kelly. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, tell me about yourself, you have a Kelly. To talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Um. So, are you like, you're just gonna like, check my messages? Forward me my emails? Your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has uh -huh. important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Anything else? Seems like a, that doesn't seem like a full-time job. Because I'm, I'm a busy person, but I don't, do a lot as I don't do a lot of like communicating. I do a lot of shooting and fighting. Is that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how oh. risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. Oh, I got a commander you Troy. Make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes, I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. Keep your distance. No, that's good. 
That's good. We definitely We're need lucky help. We have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? Um What's your take on Cerberus? Cuz I'm still I'm not not sold on Cerberus. This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for mm. human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. Yeah, but are they racist? Sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. <laughs> You're very... <laughs> This is a nice thing to say to someone, though. This is a really nice thing to say. I hope this is a compliment. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Are you happy? That's an important question we should also ask ourselves. Are you happy? How do you Kelly. feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. We can't, because otherwise the game is Don't over. Worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met oh. you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Um. Wait, what? What is this choice? Um. Okay, this may be an HR moment, but I'd embrace you. I'm going to catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to oh. talk about? Oh, so Kelly is. Oh, oh, so Kelly's that kind of yeoman. All I right. Okay, maybe we'll talk later. Kelly is that kind of yeoman. All right. Well, let's see. I see a private terminal. Oh, it, light, it lights up when I get near it. What's on my private terminal? Ah, team status. Wow, how many people are going to be on my team? Exciting. Upgrades. Uh, I don't seem to have any upgrades yet. Okay. Oh! Oh, well, we already have an email from Ca Counselor Anderson. Advanced combat training. Uh, I'll do that later. Okay. So, what do we got here? We got, uh, got some bros. Got some bros talking. What's up, bros? Doing a slow walk here. Wait, am I... Is that a patch of skin? Am I... Am I wearing overalls with, like... Yeah! Just a little bit of skin at the bottom there, in case I had a... In case I had a cool tattoo, I guess. How about you? You doing anything? No, you're not doing anything. Okay. We got some terminals on the side that are unmanned. Controls? Controls of what? Oh! That's uh, a codex. Okay. Yeah, you never know in this game. You walk around your own ship and you never know what might just unlock magically. So, here we are on the bridge. Who's on the bridge? We got flight controls. Okay. We can close the shutters. Neat. Keep the shark all attacks. Claws and guns. Can't we piss off a fuzzy planet? Still dangerous, but hey, bunnies. I see they had they had they had Seth Green in the booth and told him to riff. Yes, so sure. Eddie, what's up with Eddie? <laughs> all right, Eddie. 
Let's pretend I don't know what a spaceship is. What is this What's room? This area of the ship. This is the bridge where the navigator plots our FTL vectors and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here. Thanks. And what do you think about Cerberus, Edie? Eddie? I want to know Edie? more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? Um, how do they build an entire spaceship? How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you oh, mean? Really? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. Hmm. So, it's that kind of... So, I guess at some point we're going to have to fix you. Find out what your Directive 4 is. Okay. Can you tell about Cerberus as a structure? Is it just the guy? Or are there, like... Is there a board of directors? Our Cerberus organized. Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents like are led blindness? by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Operator Lawson. Have we met Operator Lawson? I don't think there are. Uh, how many cells are so there, how Eddie? How many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. All right, I figured as much. How about your resource? How much money do we have to spend? Can we get another ship if this what one breaks? What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. I feel like this is going to happen a lot. Let's discuss something else. Ready. Uh, I guess you can tell me about yourself, or is that I also blocked? I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Um, are you on board the ship, or are you, like, in the Where cloud? Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. Okay. Oh, is it Eddie or Edie? I've already Why forgot. Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Mm, defense, huh? You and Joker? What? Okay, I, I know I was dead for two years, but are you and Joker like a thing? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Morag does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. Okay. And what your do you job do again? Aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Yeah, I really need restricted you to tell me about those. Functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. What are you monitoring? The man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Okay, so if I get laid, is he going to watch? Because I got laid on my last ship. Yeah. Cyber warfare. <laughs> Blood Cyber flags. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own mm. suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. That's a lot. Useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilizations, put it out there. Alright, I think we've had enough, Eddie. Joker is clearly desperate for my That's attention. All for now. Logging you out, Shepard. All right, Do you Joker. believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. 
Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Uh... Hmm... This is too good to be true. I agree. I'm gonna go with that route, yes. Trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. We're staying though, right? I mean, the seat is real leather. Good to see you're keeping it all in perspective, Joker. Uh, leather? <laughs> well, that should be uh, on a Mass Effect out of context uh, Twitter feed somewhere. Can I leave the ship? I don't think I can. I guess we're going to take a tour of the ship first. That's kind of a priority. So. These people don't have jobs or names. What? Oh, we did, we, we did the private terminal. What does this door do? It opens. Ah. We got a weapons locker. Uh, I don't really have any options here, because I guess that's just that's just what I got. Okay. We just we have what we have. I guess I'll get more guns later. What is that? That's just a gun on the on the desk. Okay. Uh Jacob? Hey Jacob. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, this is risky. You That's may change true. your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. Okay, tell me more of that Your right now. Done to make you nervous. A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Alright, I'm glad you're That's honest about this. Opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Got some Paragon points for that. There are a lot of guns in this room, Jacob. Oh! Got a nice view of the, uh, the event horizon over here. That's... This room definitely a lot nicer than the old ship. Okay. What is this? This is oh, I can just bring up. E is Eddie different What's in here or? Of the ship. This is the armory okay. where small arms are maintained and upgraded using Omni Tool, computer aided design and manufacturing. We have the capability to manufacture several new models. All right. What do we got here? A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Okay. Can't open that door. I'm not assigned. We got a briefing and comm room. Edie? What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing yeah. with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Why aren't these Great. used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. Okay, and you say quantum and that means... Quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. 
One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, That's that wild. alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. I wonder if this is based on a real theory or just someone had a really late night and thought of a really fun sci-fi idea. That's now. Logging you out, Shepard. I guess we're going to have our meetings in here. I like things that are actually written on the wall. That's nice. Nothing in Mass Effect 1 was actually clearly written on the wall. You had to, like, look at a weird glyph and highlight a message, and then it would tell you, Oh, you're in the, uh, you're in the... the Arboretum. All right. What's over here? This is also tech lab. Can't open tech lab. Required to use the technical laboratory. And What's this, this area is of the ship. This is the combat information center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. Mm-hmm. All right. Now here's the real test. How fast does this elevator move? Well, I got my own. I got my own cabin, and it tells me who's here on what floor. That's nice. Okay, let's go to engineering. Nice little graph. Okay, that is much. Wow. That is a lot more impressive than the last ship, I'll tell you right now. Okay. So, we got a monitoring station. What are we monitoring? Fans. Fans are working. Engineering. Engineer Daniels, Donnelly. Uh, we'll start with you, Daniels. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. Hello? Touring the ship. Getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Um... Do you need... Okay, can you I help you? okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth, you're complaining. What's... What's what kind wrong? of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Okay, how do we get these T6 FBA Why couplings? Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Okay, well, next time we go to the Omega markets, tell me again about the T6s. Um, who trained you? Did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. And you lived. Good for you. But she didn't did stay, you huh? The Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seem to be doing that. Hmm. So you're happy with you Cerberus, huh? Cerberus. Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in the daddy bags. That's enough for me. <laughs> daddy bags? <laughs> I don't like that word. All right, Ken. How what's did your you deal? Wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. 
That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. All right. So you are being paid. Everyone's here getting paid, huh? I wonder what I'm getting so why paid. Why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state of the art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Alright, so I guess you two hook up after work, so Carry good for on. you. Will do, Commander. Oh, there we go. I got a side quest. I'm Find the FBA coupling. Uh, Eddie? What's this area of the ship? This is main engineering, which contains the ship's main fusion plant and Mass Effect core. That is indeed a core. Hey, hey. I just, just Edie. And these computers over here, nothing okay. All right, we got cargo, which is sealed. All right, then. Let's check out crew quarters. Crew deck. Life support. I can't open life support, life support, huh? Life support is restricted. Observation. Men's restroom. Can I open the men's restroom? I can. Shepard, the women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. Look, if I'm the captain, I need to know what, how everything works on this on the ship, including the toilets. Also, to be frank, I'm not so sure that a spaceship in the in a hundred years from now is going to have gendered restrooms, but that's just me. Maybe that's me just living living my dream and imagining a, a world without a future without gender. Anyway, I'll take. Can't use the toilet. Someone modeled the toilet, but we can't use it. Starboard observation. Starboard observation deck is closed until needed. Hmm. All right, what we got? We got oh, bunks. She's a cutie. How old? Ah, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Hello. No? Water? Bunk beds? Lockers? I can't... Can't interact or do anything with any of these rooms. Okay. Nothing. All right. Got a curved thing here. Uh, another water. Well, a lot of water coolers in the ship. That's good. Unauthorized meetings. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Who had that conversation? Oh. Hello. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. As Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Do you need anything? Do you need better food? You have food? everything you need? I make do. 
But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. Why, why did the camera change there? Okay, can I get you what better you food? Need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. <sighs> if I head that list. way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Who are you? Are you just you cooking? That's all you're Normandy. doing? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. That sounds so important. The man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands most of the time. This ain't no luxury <laughs> liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. Oh, you made yourself laugh. It's good. It's good to have the small moments. Uh, how long have you been with how Cerberus? Did you find your way into Cerberus. Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make oh, yeah, a difference. Batarians. I'm no soldier, They're but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Hey, it's a job. Someone's got to do it. So you're okay with Cerberus How do you feel about then? Working for Cerberus. Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. So far, this game has given me daddy bags and butt puckers. I am not. I'm not. A I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Okay, see some trash cans over here. Excellent. Got some pods. AI core. Main bat. A gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery control station. Why did I see AI core light up? Oh, it's in there. Okay. Well, let's go in that office then. Did they get the same doctor? It is Dr. Chakwas. What's this area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short-term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. Yeah, we got some beds. Access to the AI core is restricted. All right, we're totally going in there at some point. I know it. All right. What's up, Dr. Shockwas? Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Nice to good see, to see you too. Face, doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Well, I am changed, but most of it's on the inside. But also the outside. You know, you're not acknowledging the fact that I have a brand new face. Uh, Doctor, what do you need? Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing but... are my private reserves. I even have a what? bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I will buy you more brandy, Doctor. Keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Uh, so why did you leave? After you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed mm. at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Yeah, you're really into the whole, like, 
patching up soldiers thing. I remember Colonial the story. military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. Okay, so what are the odds of us dying? Very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Hmm. And you joined Cerberus because... You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. Well, I trust you, Doctor. You did a, you did a good job I'll last see you time. Later, Doctor. Commander. Find Brandy. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, hey. So, um, what's behind the kitchen? Oh, Miranda has her own office. Well, lucky for you, Miranda. What are you doing? Commander, what can I do for you? Uh, what are you doing back exactly here? What exactly are your duties aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. Okay, what is our Anything status? I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Alright, you don't have a lot to say. Can we can we talk about other stuff, or do you not do want you to do that? Minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help as any of your concerns, <laughs> I'd be happy to do so. So... What would you like to know? Uh, <laughs> we'll start with the big question. What is Cerberus? Are military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. We keep our ranks and structures similar to the Alliance. A lot of our recruits started there. But not all Cerberus yeah, I operations noticed. use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. Yeah. So what? What's your goals? And say them with say them without, say them without being racist. That's your challenge. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. Okay. Is it just that Those guy in charge? Are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded, and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals: protect humanity and serve its advancement. Hmm. Let's talk about that guy for a second, shall we? What can you tell we? me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about mm. him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. Why do you trust him? you be him? sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Okay. And is he rich, or where's, where's the money what coming from? What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Alright, so what about you, Tell me Miranda? About yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, oh, you should probably dynamic know movement. that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. 
Oh yeah? What kind of modifications? What genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Uh, interesting. Interesting choices. Sounds Let's like close one. designed to be perfect. Uh, maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences it's are good severe. to recognize that. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Hmm, true. I'm not going to call you cocky, because you're, rec you're recognizant Thanks of that. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Got anything exciting back here? Got a matching sofa. This does not does not look like a comfortable chair, and you've got a view of well, I got some space space gas. All right. The only thing left to check out is my own personal room. What's in my room? <laughs> that loads the fastest. <laughs> nobody's up there. Wow, look at this. I got a... I got an aquarium, but I got no fish. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. Mm. Oh, you guys look at the achievements. That's nice. A little uh, didactic. Oh, I get an achievement for watching those videos. All right, I'll watch them later. Cool. Private terminal. Yeah, we did that. We did that downstairs. Okay. Oh, look at that. There's a little picture of uh, of uh, Liara on my desk. That's nice. It's of her face. Okay. Not the part I remember the most. You know what I mean? <laughs> music. Oh, I can play music. Wow. Cool. Right. Right, I can change my armor. That's cool. Okay. Well, this is funky. Can I chain? Can I dance? No. No dancing in here. Okay. All right. Well, that's the ship. We talked to everybody. We checked in with people. I guess it's time to head out of here. So, seeing as how he's already emailed me, and I was just curious about how the hell things have gone in the last two years, let's get back to the Citadel and find out what's happened. Hmm. Oh, nice. They improved this map. What? Oh my god, I'm... It's not just a menu, I'm flying the ship! Unexplored? Unexplored? We must purchase more fuel or use a mass relay, Shepard. 
Interesting. We are too low on fuel to leave the system under thruster power. Okay. Um. How do we go to the uh, citadel? Can we go over? Can we just go over here? Okay. You know what? If we're here in this system, let's just go over here. Erdak. Brown dwarf. Hmm. Start scanner. Oh, getting rumbles. Probe launched. In research projects, iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Wow. Interesting. Oh, oh. No. Oh, oh. Probe away. Probe It's a weird little is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. It's a weird little mini game. Something, something's up there, no? How do we know if the plan is done? Does it ever tell you you're done? Or you just get... Do you just get ten... Whoa! There's something. Probe launched. Probe launched. I guess you just get ten probes and you get what you get, huh? Something is over here, no? Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Alright, let's try. There's no rumble, but I'll try this one too. Probe away. In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Okay, so rumbling it means that I guess rumbling it rumbles when it's like it's really good, but if there's no rumble, you might get something. Okay, okay. Probe launched. But I guess that's it, huh? What happens if I try again? Oh, I gotta buy more probes. Wow. Okay. Fascinating. Okay. So what do we got here? We got... 
Go to the Citadel. How do I get... How do I get to the Citadel is the question. <laughs> I leveled up? Interesting. I didn't expect that. I used all my probes. Okay. Mega fuel depot. All right. Oh, you can just buy probes, buy fuel. How much do probes cost? Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't see the chat there. Thank you. Go to relays to other star systems and explore the systems of fuel. Okay. Wow, I feel like there's two different kinds of music going on now. How much do the probes cost? It doesn't tell me. Well, I'm buying a lot of probes because, God damn it, I got a probe. How much fuel do I need? Guess I'll fill up. <laughs> All right. So, I guess we'll go to the mass relay? Ah! There it is. There it is. I see, I see. Citadel. Here we go! Oh, the music is... The music is doing a thing. It seems to be in one piece. What's up, bitches? I'm back. body thing? What is that, Da Vinci? DNA. The door is open. Biohazard. <laughs> what is this graphic? Uh, okay, well, I only have two people, so yeah, sure. You're up. Oh, right. Um... this thing? Wait, what? We have a little shuttlecraft now? Okay. Yes, I will look at them. Oh boy, look at this. Oh my goodness. This is a much better map, I guess. Citadel Souvenirs, Dark, Dark Star Lounge, Com Terminal, all right, there's a lot of stuff going on this. Okay, well, I'm just gonna take a walk around first. Hanar, hello. Sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh, well, when you objected, I thought. You humans are all racist. Well, he's got us there. Hello, Can customs. I help you, it's been a couple oh of yeah, years what's I going on? Here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes mm. were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. 
Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert. Be safe. Babs. Okay. Thanks for your time. Next. You better let that Hanar in. Oh, can I talk? No. It's been so long since I talked to Hanar. Solarians. Okay, whatever. Uh. Wait, these things? This Hang on. This requires a 20 kilo Ferris slot. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Epris class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3 percent of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the City Buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, Sir <laughs> Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight. I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of yeah, mass Chung. destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes sir. Okay, but seriously, these bug things are still here? I thought the whole point of the first game is that these bug things couldn't be trusted. Yeah, I'm I'm looking at you, buddy. Don't look at me, I'm looking at you. Anar. Uh This recruits is a 20 kilo Ferris slug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel okay. the weight. We heard Every that already. Five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. These doors open? It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That Oh! Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was! <laughs> listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my I captain? I got better! He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. Sure. We can do that. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I take can care of what? Bailey? Yes. Do I know you? I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My console says you're dead. Um, how do you, you know, know it was me? I'm some imposter claiming to be me. We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Okay. Uh, don't fix it. Don't change it. Anonymity is useful on my current mission. Sure, you're a goddamn hero. It's not like we have to worry about you smuggling guns in or something. I just put a block you in the system. Officially, you still don't exist. And you won't get hassled by the security checkpoints. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. <laughs> Screw the Council. I saved the Council. How do I get there from here? It's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here. Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Okay. That's my I plan. Will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Uh, oh boy, oh boy, we got, we got a whole thing here. Yeah, so, are there humans in CSEC now, here, huh? there were no human captains in CSEC. The well, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. 
They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. Yeah. Are you... Was this, is this guy on Battlestar Galactica? His voice sounds very familiar. Um... Where were you during the like attack? Most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up. Of course, they fixed that first. All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Hmm. What is the Kara Ward? Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. Shinakiba? You mean Shinakiba? We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. And what's this about abusing suspects? I your conversation. Make him scream a little. This isn't a presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes Wait, you New York City still exists? That's good. Anyway, I'll get to, to the, council. To the council. How can I get to the procedure? Oh, we did that, but head yeah, through yeah, yes. the security checkpoint and take a public shot. Yes, we're done. Okay. I be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Can I talk to you people? No. How about you? No. Anyone else out here? Avina! It's been Welcome two years, back, you remember me? It has been two yeah. years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. Uh, how about the attack? Did, did you ever Looks find like out what happened? This place recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage it was from the death attack Thank you. is ongoing. Thank you, Dark Star Aurora. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. What about Get the Reaper? It. it was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They've suppressed information about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. Okay, but it was a big, like, space spider thing that latched onto the Citadel. Like, people saw it. Did no one see it? Uh, CSEC? a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. <laughs> How charmingly fascist. Okay, you know what? Did it work? Crime decreased. Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. Hmm. What's this about stores? stores Is the stores here? On this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of starship models is well regarded. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. News? Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I'm Emily Wong. Emily Wong! And the Systems Alliance remain tight lipped about the recent disaster on the pioneer colony of Freedom's Progress. The human outpost yeah, it didn't is work out over there. been destroyed, with no survivors on record. Details are sketchy due to a news blackout. This is the latest in a series of frontier settlements lost by the Alliance. The Hanar Shrine of the Enkindlers plans a prayer vigil for the deceased. The Hanar made Good for the Hanar. that the lost colonies are the Protheans' wrath after human explorers defiled a Prothean data beacon two years ago on Eden Prime. Okay, I don't like that part. I mean, I was just doing my job. Alright, we got some souvenirs over here. 
So do you want to get one of the fish, or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive, and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. I look at ships all day. <laughs> Someone cynical? Okay, I can talk to a person, or I can just be... Let's talk to the person. Delia Sanasi. Hello? You got nothing to say, Delia. Space... <laughs> Space hamster. Fish. Alright, the hamster is the most expensive thing. I'm assuming that's going to be something for a storied mission, I guess, because... Alright, I'm definitely buying a fish. Yes. Good. Good. I need I need fish in my cabin. Maybe Can't talk to you then? yet. What? Why? It's a fish. What? The fish have nothing to do with the citadel. Besides, it'll be dead in a couple of years. The important thing is to embrace yeah, so you. the time that you have to spend with a fish. Oh, for is this the lifespan talk? I'm not having the lifespan talk. I think they need couples therapy. Just a hunch. All right, so let's take his advice. Let's go back through security since they don't care about me. I'm a non-entity. Rapid transit. Request new squad member. Okay. Uh. I guess we'll go to the... Yeah. Human Embassy. You get a discount on all the stores in ME. I hope so. I saved the whole galaxy. I shouldn't have spent money anywhere. Hey! This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. Yeah, time, good to Anderson. see you, man. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting yeah. so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his geth. Yeah, you. Yeah, let's let's go right go right Saren to it. Wasn't the one commanding the Geth. It was the Reaper Sovereign. Ah, yes, Reapers, the immortal race of sentient starships, allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, this is dumb. No one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you, but without evidence from another source. The others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Ah. <sighs> um. Yeah. Didn't you find any evidence? Go back to and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional. And we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated. What? By Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. Why would the Geth follow Saren? That's a good point. Why would, why would they do Saren that? Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. <sighs> so you don't believe. So we're just not gonna. We're not getting headway here, huh? I guess I'm on my own. Again. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. 
Maybe there is a compromise. Not a public acknowledgement, given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. Did you... What, did you cancel my membership just because I died? It's very short-sighted of you. Well, I need to start filing reports. That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. <sighs> you know what? I'll kiss their ass a little bit. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the council is <laughs> just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Uh, that's fine. We're not going to burn any bridges. That's a good, good, good way to put it. We're not burning any bridges. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the council or the alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepherd. Oh, you. What are you doing here? Visiting old friend, and it's not you. I'm to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Counselor. Do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The meeting the went fine, Dickless. my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. That's a good point. Why is he even still here? What, what good you is he? What keeping around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus... He's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. All right. Well, how are you doing, though? That's more important. How are you doing, how man? the last couple years treated you? Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Oh, can I? Can you come with me? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. Hmm. That's got to be yours. All right. That's fine. I would just... Um... Yeah, so, okay... Yeah, so what about the remains? Surprise no one can yeah. tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. So there might, be, there might be pieces of it still out there after two years? Damn. Uh, we're still fighting the Geth, huh? We're still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount okay. them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. That's good. You're welcome, by the way. And so the Citadel, everything's fixed it then? To get this place back up to speed after the battle. Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration 
are sitting around five years. The keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I can't believe you're still trusting these network of bugs that could very well just turn on us at any time. That seems like a very short-sighted plan. Do you know what happened to Kaidan? What happened to Staff Lieutenant Alenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Alenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. All right, I understand. Thanks I for chatting. Go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Well, I agree. Hello? No? News? The Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked Human Alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. All right. I like how they're just teleworking now. That's good. It's progressive. This desk is pretty spare. Pretty Spartan, though. Okay. Oh, wow. So I just... It's very much... Just go to here and go to here. Okay. So we don't walk around as much anymore. Factory district. Can't go there. Okay. The care award. Wow. So this is this is very much now it's just menu based. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll check out the Dark Star Lounge. What's that squeaking sound? <laughs> Sounds like I'm playing PT. <laughs> Zakira Ward, talk to Jacob. That is not Jacob. <laughs> Advertisement? Oh, that's weird. It offers the finest quality burial robes, hand spun by skilled Asari artisans. Anatas will help you leave a good looking corpse. <laughs> okay. Have you tried Galaxy game of Sales Fantasy me. yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Yeah. Who's you have any games Fortnite you'd like to days? trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. So keep an eye out for that. Is this Cloudpunk? Vina. Dark Star. Can I get a picture of Dark Star? There we go. Dark Star. What's inside Dark Star? Is anyone going to shoot at me? You know what? Actually, that's a good point. I've not saved in a very long time. Let's just save the game. Oh, yeah! How much did that cost? <laughs> Guess it doesn't matter, huh? What will it be? 
What's happening, you bartender? Interesting going on around here. I serve drinks. You want to know what's going on? Check the news. I don't know why humans always All ask right. that. I want the strongest I'll take a drink, thing then. you have. Easy enough. <laughs> this is... it's green? And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dextro DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. Anything You're alright! Now I'm good. For now. Let me know if you change your mind. Yes! Yes, yes! Yes! Oh, I can't move the camera! I can't move the camera! Why didn't you dance? Conversations over here. No search, just dealings. Oh, I found the toilet. He is, uh, he's not sure the toilets work. <laughs> Watch the news in the in the club. How do I? It keeps giving me a prompt to talk to Miranda, but I don't. Miranda, do you want to talk? Jacob, do you want to talk? I don't think so. No one's talked to me in here. Talk to Miranda. Looking for a little R and R, Shepard? It's a nice enough place. A lot nicer than Cora's den, anyway. I wasn't sorry to hear they never reopened after the Geth attack. Yeah, I got in a shootout down there. I didn't need to go back there. It's fine. Story, Shepherd. Got oh, it's you, press, Shepherd. I remember you. What do you want? Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westernland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? Ah. <sighs> Okay. Uh, yeah, I remember who you are. time trying to make me look like I was selling out Earth to the Council. You proved me wrong in the end. Now that you've resurfaced, your news again. I just want to give your yeah, story its due. I don't need to be on the news. Due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. Uh, yeah, we're not doing that. Saving everyone only happens in vids. There will be sacrifices. Being in charge means making sure they lead to the greater objective. That's a reality shared by all soldiers, in command and on the ground. Don't you dare suggest I made that call lightly. I didn't mean to accuse... You're damn right you didn't. I won't have you disrespect any of those who gave their lives that day. They are heroes, all of them. They deserve better than you. Commander Shepard, first human specter. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check vid. 
We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Yeah, that was weird. I, I pulled the trigger, but I also had to make a conversation thing. It was kind of strange. Anyway, I guess that's going to happen during conversations now. I can just... I can trigger a, an action point, huh? I really feel like I'm lost around here. Gotta be honest. <laughs> I got some brandy for the doctor. Otherwise, I feel like I just now it's a series of little spaces. Okay. We did. We went there. We went there. What's in twenty six? You don't take the trigger. Well, I did take the trigger. I thought I did. Sorry, one second. My watch is telling me to stand up, even though I'm absolutely standing up. Don't you hate it when your watch doesn't listen to you? Your watch does not believe you? I missed the trigger. Oh, I gotta pull it faster, huh? Okay. There's no camera, but I'm basically waving my arms up and down. Waiting for the watch to recognize the fact that I'm standing up. I did it. Yeah, you're damn right I did. Okay. What's going on here? We got stand. We got uh, Elcor. Eh? Excuse you? You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. What can I get you? Mm, the meat isn't fresh out here, but you won't find any better dried seaweed on the station. We have six kinds of beer on tap. I already had a drink. This Clandus is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. I'm sorry. I'm trying What's to take a here? statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking I think he's breathing me. as hard as he can. Earth Clan. Just because the Vol Clan need... It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. What's going on here? I will talk you to you she first. Stole your credit chit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. Are you sure you didn't Are leave you it at sure the store? You didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. And she bumped I was you? running into you means she stole your credit, Chit. That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You Do you have pockets? You back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. And what do you... you yeah, what do you have to say? you accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. Uh, did you the chit ran fall into down? each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend time looking at the ships a lot? a lot of time with the used ship dealer? Yeah, they've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A That's a great idea. A great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I'm smart. I traveled with Quarian who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. Alright. And... Talk to C -Sec. You know what do you What'd you get, truth? sir? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. 
You know what Quarins are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. That didn't sound that didn't sound I'll see great. If I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C sec matter. We'll do all we can <laughs> all we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of her officers know. Let's all right. Go. Be careful out there. I've got to find the chit. How small is it? I just got a ref Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tupari uh. sports drink hit the spot right now? Oh, I want to overhear a conversation. Is that a chit? It's not a chit. What's going on down here? We got vending machines, we got people just hanging out. This seems like a very uh, conspicuous room in space. But I don't see any prompts to interact with anything or do anything. Okay. Also, where am I? I'm in a warehouse. I'm in a warehouse and there's nothing for me here. Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omnigel converter. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse. All right. Oh, sort of, so this is where they were. They were out here. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? Oh no. What do you do here? Good day, Kian? citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation Outlet on Zakira Ward. Uh, what do you do here? Tell me about your store. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. Well, I use that all the time. I'd like to buy something. Purchases are made through our catalog interface. It's over there. Okay. So what if do you do? done by catalog, why are you here? Customer service. Returns, exchanges, and group rates. We also find that sales are better when there's someone to personally interact with. Although I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires Asari to work their stores. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a, got a hunch. Did anyone leave a credit chip here? here? Not too long ago, did he drop a credit chip? And not that I saw, he didn't purchase anything. All right then, I guess Thanks we're done. Time. Of course, citizen. What do they sell? I don't even know what to sell. Oh, I can get more Metagel, but I can't afford it. Or wait, I can't afford it. That's a lot of money, though. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I'll save. I'll hang off those purchases for now. All right. Well. If they bumped into each other, it would have been right out here. Could it have fallen in the water? What's this? Saronis. Welcome to Saronis Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard. 
Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around <laughs> the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. I'd like to buy what something. What do you sell? Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. If everything's what do you automated, do? why are you here? <laughs> Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully explaining things to the technologically illiterate. It's stunning how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. Yeah, I've heard that. You see a credit chip around here? Was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chip. I didn't notice he left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. All right. Thanks. He'll be glad to hear that. Not a problem. Have a good day. Tech damage. Damage protection. Okay, I can just spend money and get stuff. All right. So which tech module are we supposed to get? With confusion. I thought you knew. What? No. <laughs> All I heard Verana say was, pick up a module. Oh, Elcor. I love you. All right. So we solved the mystery. I felt her. Hello. Handle. Please move along. I found you it. Your credit shit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? Hey! There we go. You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it. Now, just a minute. And you. She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy. How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? Good luck, I'm dead. You think you're gonna run in a specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. You can be you okay? Take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in the Turian shelter. But I'm surviving. Thanks. Nice. Now, oh, I made my... How did I make money on that deal? <laughs> okay. You want to join my crew? I like having Turians around. Quarians, not... Anyway. See that? We help people. Okay, so that's how it works. There... Yeah. When the prompt happens, I gotta push a button really fast, and then it's something happens. Or nothing happens. Alright. So who's over here? Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. Sure. I have my own ship, though. Alliance military officials are having difficulty meeting hiring quotas, according to a new report. Since yeah, I wonder why. An initial surge in patriotic enlistments was followed by a downturn, as the public became skeptical that the Alliance can match Geth technology. Zakara Cafe? I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Whoa. Fine, <laughs> he fine. shut you I up. I just need to pick up some spices. Amino dextrous and amino sinister if you have it. You don't mix your spice chorality. What cooking school did you say you went to? I don't go to cooking school. I just want something tasty to put on a steak. Why don't you just go to Fish Dog Food Factory? It's on level 23. <laughs> Ask for their tummy tingling to chunk of sauce. I like this guy, he's salty. 
I can buy books or I can buy... Okay. Yes. Do I need to buy a book? Well, why not? Why not buy some books? Did that qualify for the uh, chefs? It did. Okay, good. Come on, please. You have to help me. I need to make something nice. It's for a date. <sighs> Fine. A sorry honey marriage. Made at an Ardat Yakshi monastery by sad, tortured blue souls. Too <laughs> sweet for a real connoisseur. But anyone willing to date you will probably be impressed. Hey, thanks! <laughs> oh, I like this guy. He rules. I have my own scholarship program. All right, what is this? What thing? can I do for you? Uh, Tell me about what your is this? Services. We sell quality hunting supplies, which you'll need when you purchase one of our adventure travel packages. Imagine it, human. The break of day. You and your team have been stalking a Shafa for five days. In that time, it's killed four men. Hmm. <laughs> you see it? Line it up. Take the shot. Blam! It's down. You're the hero. That's what we offer. Not a vacation, but an experience. Okay, that's cute. I, I kind of do that all the time, though. So I what weapons, weapons do you were have? Restricted on the Citadel now. Carrying them around is. Selling them isn't. We store them in off-site containers and deliver them to your ship. People who have permission to carry, like CSEC, can walk out with them. Hmm. And what do Let you have? Buy something. Try our electronic catalog interface. That kiosk over there. So this this conversation happens at every if store, huh? If done by catalog, why are you here? Rodham believes in salesmanship, the personal touch. Some say we're old-fashioned. We recognize that adventure traveling is a niche. A small, tight-knit community. Niche! But you're I'll Canadian. Come again. Oh, I can just more just make my gun stronger, huh? That's cool. Well, that's good. That's also good. And not much, not very expensive. Okay. So what do you think? Maybe a shotgun? I like the assault rifle. Maybe. It's like a non-stop barrage of death. If you can hit anything. I think I've explored every corner of the Citadel that I can reach at this time, huh? Oh, there it is. Here's the mysterious Talk to Jacob Square. Been years since I've been to the Citadel. Never changes, does it? No matter how long you're gone. Comforting to some people, I guess. Living in denial that all this could end. It seems pretty different to me. <laughs> okay, we went there. We went there. We went there. I think we went everywhere. Is there anything else I can do uh, mission-wise? We got those. 
So we got those. That's an Omega. This is not, we're not an Omega. Okay. So yeah, we don't have any more missions we can do here on the Citadel. So I think we're done with the Citadel. So let's go back to the ship. I get discounts, huh? Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. Some of the stuff they sell is expensive. Well, I must say, I'm really impressed so far. I, I mean, I kind of wish you could run around the Citadel again. That was fun, but I do like the fact that you can just skip around large portions, and when you want to leave, you just leave, as opposed to Mass Effect 1, where you had to ride... Oh my god, you had to ride an elevator all the way up to the docking bay and then get on your ship and then leave. Whereas this one, you just get on the ship and you just go. That's neat. Oh, hey, Kelly. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. Yes. But I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. Oh no, Kelly, I You're like that. You're charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? How's is everyone doing? I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Um. How do you feel? Still about happy? Being assigned to the I was handpicked by the. How do I feel? But mostly, I feel Good. encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't. Don't worry. We'll I trust you implicitly. I might moment do more. Yeah, we'll do that again. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better We're go. Good. Okay, Nick, Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. What do we got? Samesh Bhatia. Mr. Whoa. Oh, it's from Mass Effect 1. That's right. You saw her body. That's great. I've opened the restaurant my wife always wished to start back on Earth. Her picture hands on the wall. Alliance soldiers eat for free. Well, that's nice. I guess I mean, I wonder if I'll get more messages like that, just little things from people on Earth who remember me from, from past missions. All right, well, I think that's a good place to sort of take a break today because uh, we're coming up on two hours here. I explored the Citadel. I explored the ship. I talked to some people. I bought some stuff. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait, hang on, hang on. That's right. We can, before we finish, we can deliver the stuff that we bought. There it is. Before I do the whole speech about shutting things down, let's actually deliver all the things I bought. So, Gardner? Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Sounds great. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. Okay. And Doc, I got you your brandy. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I always what regretted a smile. not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You crack sure. open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Alenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. Uh, let's toast our dead to friends then. To Presley, to Williams. May they never be forgotten.
Oh, I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm a little drunk. That's so cute. That's so cool. Where's the doctor? Uh, she's out. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god. Access to the AI core is restricted. That is funny. Yep, okay. Those missions are complete then. Yeah, I'm gonna save those I'm gonna save those points for later. Okay, but yes. Now now let's wrap it up. So Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, had a good session here. I'm glad I got my mic fixed. Uh, I'll be more careful with that in the future. And I guess next time... Well, next time is tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to put off Mass Effect, and we're going to go back. Because it's Resident Evil Day, we want to make some progress in Resident Evil. So tomorrow, uh, Thursday in America, Friday in Japan, we are going to do more Resident Evil. But uh, we'll get back to Mass Effect. This is definitely a, a game I'm enjoying. I want to I want to find out more about this galaxy and explore more planets and do all the fun stuff. So, yeah, that's it for today. Good night. <laughs>